I really want coffee. She wants <laughs> coffee. I haven't been well for a few days again. <laughs> She's sicker than anybody I know. Uh, it's amazing. I, you know, I got sick, got well. I was on antibiotics, and I took a 14-day load of them. Perfect. A shite load. And I was good for three days. I felt great. I didn't even have a coughing, nothing. And then I got sick again. And I just know if I go back, they're going to try to tell me to take more antibiotics. It was such a good storm we had. <laughs> we had a fabulous storm. <laughs> such a good storm. My friend Michelle was flying in from New Hampshire where they were having a huge nor'easter. <laughs> yes. So it cleared enough for her to get out. She was stuck there on Tuesday until mm -hmm. Tuesday. Well, she's supposed to leave Tuesday. She got stuck. Mm -hmm. So <laughs> I go to pick her up at the airport. Now it does call for snow people it does call for snow does it say how much however <laughs> I left for Reno at about 6 6 30 her planes coming in at 9 50 I think I'll get my nails done which I did thank you very much Man. and then I went to the pepper mill played some dollar not dollars well a few dollars in pennies <laughs> oh, she played a few dollars and won a hundred dollars oh how much did you spend I sm I cleared a hundred dollars. Oh, nice. That's yes. Great. I put in a few dollars. I mean, like literally in the first five minutes, I won a hundred dollars. Oh my gosh, I would have walked. And I cashed it out, uh -huh. put it in my pocket, and, kept going. and then kept playing with what I initially was going to play with. Right. That's I came out with just a little more than a hundred dollars awesome. profit. Very good. So anyway, I left the nail salon. It was snowing lightly, not sticking to anything. Snowing lightly. Lightly. And then I went to the pepper mill, played some dollars. It was time to go to the airport. It was snowing, but not sticking. I didn't have to wipe my windshield. I did not have to worry. The roads were clear. Got to the airport. <laughs> right as I'm entering the airport, she calls. She says, my plane just landed, or she texted. And I said, great, perfect timing. So I get there, I said, I'll circle about till you present. Until <laughs> she comes out to the curb. Until she comes to the curb. Well, the baggage <coughs> was late of loading, so I was circling and I pulled up to the place where you pick up passengers. Yes. Nobody else is there. It's 10 o'clock almost at night. Nobody is there. So, so I sit there. And the guy, the airport guy, comes up. Hey, what you doing? Yeah, you're stuck in the airport. Hanging out at the airport. <laughs> Just thought I'd park here for the night. What do you mean? What am I doing? I'm picking I'm somebody picking my up. Friend up. Well, yes. where are they? I said, well, their their plane has landed and she's picking up her luggage. Well, I'll give you three minutes. Oh my gosh. Right. So he says because the snow removal equipment is coming, and I'm like, <laughs> for 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 what? <laughs> what? Because there's literally nothing on the ground. Mm -hmm. I said, fine, I'll circle. <laughs> there we go. So I went around once again and then I pulled up further down the road where it said media staging area. Media staging area? I figured area. I was the media. <laughs> Did you so I camera? staged in that area until she called me and said I'm on my way out. Yes. So then I pulled up to pick her up. As she exits the airport, airport the skies opened like, and like a the dinner. snow started piling up like a tundra, like a t frozen tundra. <laughs> and I'm like, holy crap. So we're leaving Reno. Literally, I get to, I think I'll take the old road because I don't want to be on bridge. that big There's bridge. There's a bridge that's very scary. Yeah. And I don't want to be on there. And if there is a problem, I wouldn't be able to turn around. Mm -hmm. yeah, so I'm no told to go place. to Old Washoe. And I get to right before that hill. 
You know where I'm talking. I know, before you turn it in onto the uh, Washoe Lake ground to go around. Yeah, it wasn't even that, I mean, that, yeah, that hill. Yes. So, I all of a sudden, I mean, the snow is piling up rapidly. And I said to Michelle, I don't want to alarm you, <laughs> but I have no control of the vehicle right now. <laughs> And literally, I'm just drifting sideways. Oh. My lovely traction control kept me kind from of spinning, yeah. but I was definitely just drifting. As you were trying to go up the hill? Not even to Not the hill yet. yet. Okay. So I thought, okay, I'm going to pull over to the side of the road and we're going to have a conversation. And I look up on the hill and there's like three or four cars stopped on the oh, hill. Oh, you ain't going to make it that far. And I'm like, been there, done that. <laughs> been there, done that. So I said, we're turning around. We spent the night. I had no clothes. I had no toothbrush. I had no nothing. Bye, babe. And they spent the night in Reno. Went to Reno, spent the night in Reno. Because there's too much snow. There was too much snow. I'll insert a picture of the snow the following morning. Oh, it was something. Seriously? Seriously, folks? Seriously. Yes, really? Seriously? The way we are. Uh, where we are, where we have come. Look at this. Take it from me. I think chains are going to be our only way home with the rate that it's coming down. And thank goodness for my sister. So, what did I shoveled do? my driveway. Oh, yeah. So I could at least get into the driveway. Oh, there was at least a foot and a half, a foot and a half of snow. I mean, literally. This happened, people, I swear, in a matter of hours. Uh -huh. Yeah, and then her driveway, there was there would be no physical way you could have got in there. No, not in this car. I told my son, I'm like, um, we're gonna go. Um, we're, I said, no, I'm going to go <laughs> shovel. He's like, no, you're not. No, you're not. And I'm like, yes, I am. I'm gonna go shovel. Now, what's the deal with that? And my son and my daughter both. They don't. That old. I'm 63 years old now. Seriously. I can shovel. I said, a damn what is driveway. different between this year and that? Last year. <laughs> Why can't I? Because you're now the matriarch. I guess. So, <laughs> I, I put the shovel in the trunk, after which what we had done earlier is shovel my driveway and get the foot and a half of snow off the top of and all around my car. Yes. You know, and he was bitching at me then too. Doug, you can't do that. And I'm like, I'm oh doing God. it. Anyway. So we, I, was I put it in the in the in the um, trunk, go up to Leah's house where they have a snow blower. Yes. And my son runs out and he gets in the car as I'm going. I'm like, okay, and he gets up there and you can snow blow. You can snow blow, that's fine. I'm gonna just go ahead and shovel this part. No, you're not. Go home. Go no, home. I'm not gonna go home. And then How my are you son, gonna get home? I said he goes, Well Alex came to get the snow blower and I'm like, what? He took it to his house. I'm like, I need one. Now this is my picture of my son snow blowing his way down the road yes. to get back to our house. What the stranger things have happened. No, it is not what happened. So but I tell him, he goes, No, he's snow blowing here and I'm like, You get your butt up off of the couch and go help. Well you said he was doing it. I said, No, I don't care, you get out there and, and do it. He said and he said, Laura's out there shoveling. I'm like, oh hell no. So she, she won't even let me. Yeah. Well not when I have a twenty year old son on the couch. Exactly. And I was like he's like, You don't have to do it now and I'm like, I do have to do it now because if I wait it's gonna start to melt a bit, it's gonna get really heavy. Yeah. It's going to be a horrible mess. And by the time I got home to do the rest of it, it was really heavy. Did you, snow, like, did you snow blow the other part or did you have your son do it? Well, we shared. Okay, I was going to say. He shoveled and I snow blowed and then we'd switch off. I see. He has no problem letting his mother do it. So I'm, like, I'm like, really? I mean, what is seriously the difference between this year and last year? I'm well, saying. now you're 63. Oh, that's the magic oh, the number. Yeah, the number. Anyway, so that was that. And we stayed at the 
the Grand Sierra. It was $42 a night on booking.com. Nice. Okay, right? So we get to the to the check-in desk and I said, oh, you know, we were trying to get home from the airport. We couldn't get home. Um, and so we need, you know, we need a room for the night. And he goes, well, good luck. <laughs> well, no, uh, well, you know, we don't have that many rooms left and, you know, there is high demand right now because of the storm uh -huh. and blah, blah, blah. So prices are a little higher right now. And I'm like, really? I'll just book it right here then. <laughs> I said, so this price that I'm showing you is not what you're... And he's like, oh, well. <laughs> and he was a very nice kid, but he was given the spiel, you know, uh -huh. that they're supposed to give. Mm -hmm. And I, he goes, and then he leans over and he goes, I would book it online. <laughs> I said, okay. And he was very nice. And he goes, you know, he didn't take another customer. I said, well, step aside. And he goes, no, oh, just go ahead. So he, so you booked it online for forty what, two dollars. Forty two dollars. He wanted to charge us ninety eight or something. Oh my god! I said so. The Grand Sierra is taking advantage of people stranded. Uh, they are, well, as are many hotels. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Is this jovial. that happy girl again? That's that happy girl. She's too happy. She's too happy for us. We think she's been drinking a lot of coffee. A lot, a lot of coffee. coffee. I want something not so torturous. And I, you know, and I was kind of disappointed, I'm just going to say, because I thought we might get snowed in again. Oh, you got because disappointed because I was you might? Because I didn't, because Dancing with the Stars was there that night. Oh. And I figured if the snow just keeps going and keeps going, people aren't gonna then be able people aren't going to be able there to yeah. get there, <laughs> and we would get cheap tickets. Oh. Is that all for you guys tonight? That's it. Right? On it's just going to be $11 even for you guys today. Did you oh, before, the free that, one. before that freebie. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so then it'll just be five fifty for you. Okay. Six. Awesome. Thank you. Yeah, but I wanted to have a tip. Can I get you guys 50 cents back? No, don't worry about that. Oh, you are wonderful. Thanks. Oh, we appreciate that. Thank you. I mean, for her happiness. <laughs> huh? I'm tipping her for her happiness. I was going to tip her. I had money in my pocket. Money in my pocket. That's my snow story time. Then it was scary. It was harrowing. <laughs> I like but that. we made it. it. Reminds me of when I when I was young and driving in my Pinto with no radio. Oh my God. For one time we were coming over from Sacramento and there was no traffic and I'm like, and it was snowing so hard. <laughs> And there, I mean, there was literally Been no there. Track. So I'm like, okay, and we're half, 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 happily moving along, you know, and come to find out the road was closed. <laughs> I saw it, I don't know how I got on it, but it was closed. And it was like an ice sheet. It is raining like a mother. Cats and dogs. Cats and dogs. Can you hear them? Listen to the rhythm of the fall and rain. Coffee, we're going home. Have a good night, everybody. Bye. 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 See you later.